Hi there, this is Pastor Aaron Virgin, the pastor at St. John's Lutheran Church and School in beautiful Grand Haven, Michigan. Welcome to another episode of Tuesday Talks with Pastor, where I briefly reflect on what I took away from this past weekend's worship services or Bible study, using this as an opportunity for us to continue to rejoice together in Christ and as an encouragement for you when you go to worship or go to Bible study to go there with the goal of taking something away, something that the Holy Spirit gives to you through the Word of God. Now, this past Sunday was the third Sunday after Epiphany. It's a Sunday where we remember how Jesus called his first disciples, Simon and Andrew, James and John, there on the shores of the Sea of Galilee. And what really stood out to me was a portion of our gospel reading where we looked at that story. This is from Mark chapter 1, and I'll read here verses 16 to 17. It says, passing alongside the Sea of Galilee, Jesus saw Simon and Andrew, the brother of Simon, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, follow me, and I will make you become fishers of men. Now it's worth noting here, Jesus calls here his first disciples, Simon and Andrew. Simon, his name, uh, Jesus would later call him Peter, as we we know him better. Um, But they're there, they're fishermen, they're casting a net into the sea. It's worth noting that of all the people that Jesus chooses here to be his first disciples, ultimately his apostles, uh, the people who would, would lead the church there finally after Pentecost, that he chooses here fishermen. Of all people, he chooses fishermen. These are people of a very low social status, people that would have been uncultured, you might say, Uh, I would imagine that they smelled working around fish all day. And yet it's these men, as Jesus passes by them, he sees them there on the shores of the Sea of Galilee, and he chooses them to follow him, that he might make them become fishers of men. It's a beautiful picture of grace, that God uh, here in Christ claims people, whom the world would regard as utterly unworthy and glorifies them with that call. Follow me and I'll make you become fishers of men. And it's a reminder, first of all, of our own unworthiness. We are unworthy of God and his call, uh, not you know, per se because of our jobs, but because of our sin. We're not unworthy, you know, you might say socially, but rather legally, according to the law of God. We are unworthy. We deserve only condemnation because of our sin. And yet, Jesus calls us through his word and his spirit. He looks upon us in grace. And so we realize here uh, in this text, not just our unworthiness, but also the grace of God toward us. There in our baptisms, he called us by name. He claimed us as his children. He washed us clean through the blood of Christ. He glorified us in Jesus, even though we ourselves were utterly unworthy. It's a beautiful picture of grace here in Jesus as he chooses to call fishermen as the very first disciples. And it would continue, uh, and he'd offer other surprises. He called Matthew the tax collector. Um, and and other things like that. Um, But here he begins with these fishermen, these low social status men um, who would have been humbled and honored to be called by Christ himself. And so too with us. That's how we should receive it. We should recognize every day as Christians, as baptized believers, that we have been chosen by God from before the beginning of the world in this great mystery We've been chosen by God. We belong to him, though we ourselves are utterly unworthy. God's love and his grace is for us. He's going to be with us. He's going to care for us. He's going to empower us to proclaim the gospel in our daily lives. It's a beautiful picture, and that's what really stuck with me here as we see these you know, dirty, uncultured, low-class, smelly fishermen being called by Jesus first of all. So that's what stuck with me. Um, I hope that there was something that, that you took away as well. If this video was a blessing to you, please share it. And I look forward to rejoicing in Christ with you next week.